Hello, my fellow e-commerce empire builders. My name is Kennedy here at Zendrop. In today's video, I am so excited about because we're gonna be doing some digging into the gossip that goes on about drop shipping. If you own an e-commerce store and or are thinking about starting your very first e-commerce store, Odds are, when you tell people about this new business endeavor, you get a long list of opinions in terms of this type of business model. So on today's video, I am going to be answering all of the most popular assumptions about dropshipping. Here at Zendrop, we have a world-class support team of individuals who answers each and every one of your questions that you submit through our support tickets. So I have dug up all of the most common assumptions we get here at Zendrop, and I'm gonna answer them for you today. So if you're ready to hear more about dropshipping as a business model and what it actually means to be a dropshipper, stick around and keep watching. Okay, I don't wanna waste any time here, so we're gonna dive right into it. The first assumption that we hear a lot here at Zendrop is that dropshipping is illegal. This is arguably one of the most widespread assumptions that we get inquiries about here at Zendrop, and the reality of the situation is it's simply not true. Dropshipping is a legitimate business model that has been practiced by many throughout the years before it even coined the name dropshipping. Consider the concept of door-to-door -door salesmen. This concept has been around for years now and the whole purpose of it was for an individual to go literally door-to-door -door, and sell the products of another company. These individuals never held the product in their hands, but they sold this product to individuals through their homes and then the company would ship these products to those customers. On a simplistic level, this is actually considered dropshipping, considering the salesperson never actually held stock. Modern dropshipping works in the exact same way, as online store owners act as the middleman between suppliers and online shoppers. So we can consider this myth debunked. The next assumption we hear quite often at Zendrop is that dropshipping can make you rich very quickly. Now, even though there are many overnight success stories when it comes to dropshipping, the reality of the situation is dropshipping takes a lot of time, stamina, and patience to become successful. Now, it is true that dropshipping can make you extremely successful if you are persistent, educate yourself, and do not give up even in times of failure. Oftentimes, new dropshippers come across content on YouTube or Facebook or some other informational website telling them how to get rich quickly from dropshipping. This content is incredibly dangerous for new dropshippers as it puts in their mind the expectation that you start a store and you immediately start making a lot of money. Dropshipping is incredibly lucrative the further down the line in your career you go. But at first, more often than not, there will be a lot of stresses, some failures, some products that never sell, and a lot of discouragement on your end. Zendrop offers incredible resources to the new dropshipper, not only about running Facebook advertising and optimizing your store properly, but also starting a store from start to finish. This resource is called the Zen Rocket Challenge, and it's completely free to any dropshipper who wants to get started today. We've left the link below for the Zen Rocket Challenge for you to check out. And with this challenge comes 30 days free on our Zen Drop Pro membership. Not to brag, but we think it's incredibly successful for the new dropshipper. And if you haven't started your online store yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. So I think we can call this myth also debunked. Dropshipping is incredibly lucrative the further down the line you get in your career, but do not expect to immediately launch your Shopify store and start making big sales. I'm not saying this to scare you by any means. I'm saying this so that you are prepared for the work that it will take in order to create a successful dropshipping store. Because we believe you can become successful if you take the right steps and you have the correct expectations. The next assumption we get all the time here at Zendrop is that you cannot drop ship to any other country other than the United States. I will let you know right off the bat that this is completely false. So let's debunk it together, shall we? Many new drop shippers usually focus on the United States in order to start their first drop shipping store. This is because it's easier to target demographics that you are somewhat familiar with, and it's usually easier to offer customer support in your native language. This makes perfect sense, but at the same time, do not stop there. There are many opportunities to reach countries where the market is less saturated and the competition for your products is less rough. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job correctly if I didn't give you all the information about shipping to other countries other than the United States. 
So while it is not prohibited to drop ship to other countries in the world, you do need to educate yourself in terms of product restrictions and shipping times. All of this information needs to be put forth on your website completely honestly. That way you're not dealing with negative customer support in the long term. In our experience, other countries to drop ship to other than the United States for new drop shippers would be Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom, Europe, and New Zealand. This is a great demographic for new drop shippers to start with if they're trying to expand past the United States because all of these countries also speak English and the customer support will be easier for you in the long term. I know I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. This myth is debunked. Another assumption we hear at Zendrop is that only popular stores can sell well and succeed in the dropshipping space. Yes, it is true that a fully established and branded dropshipping store will more than likely perform better than newer dropshippers. But this does not mean that newer dropshippers or smaller stores cannot succeed in this space. This is why paid advertising exists. The beauty of Facebook advertising is that you practically need no page views, no email marketing, no social media in order to start creating sales. If you have started a newer dropshipping store and you are concerned with competing with these larger, more successful online stores, don't fret. There's a lot of competition research that you can do to make sure that you are selling trending products just like these large stores. You also need to remember that most large stores started exactly where you are. They just continue to scale their successful products and learn more about the business along the way so that they can become more successful in the long term. So make sure to do your research about trending products within your store niche. Understand what is selling well and what is being talked about online and go source those products from Zendrop to sell on your online store. Keep in mind, you can become successful with minimal branding, no social media, and minimal email marketing. But as your store starts to scale, it is important to start thinking about this front-facing branding so that you can keep up with the competition the more successful your dropshipping store becomes. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this myth is also debunked. Another assumption we hear a lot is that you need to keep your foreign suppliers a secret from your customers. Now at Zendrop, we have an extensive list of suppliers in the United States, but typically shipping from China is usually cheaper for the supplier, for the drop shipper, and for the fulfillment company. This is not a bad thing because the reality is most products come from China even if they aren't drop shipped. Many online shoppers can be wary of purchasing a product if they know it's coming directly from China. But there are a lot of ways around this so that you are still being transparent with your customers, but you are not blatantly outright saying your product is coming directly from a warehouse in China. The key here is to actually practice transparency with your customers. If you do not practice transparency, you will run into really poor customer service issues in the future. You don't want to be named a liar in the industry that you are selling your products in. A really good way to combat this potential dilemma is to frame this information in a positive way, stating that the demand for this product is so high that we are making it cheaper for you to purchase by sending it directly from our suppliers rather than sending it directly from the United States. So allow your customers to practice patience and understand that by getting their product from China, they're getting a cheaper rate than if you would have sent it to the United States first. Because this reality is true. US suppliers will cost more to ship from than Chinese suppliers, which is why drop shippers love to ship from China initially. So no, do not keep your foreign suppliers a secret. You don't have to announce it to the world where your products are coming from, but practice transparency and spin this information in a positive way in order for your dropshipping store to succeed. I'm pretty sure we can also call this myth debunked. Another assumption we hear a lot at Zendrop is that you need to be an expert on Facebook advertising in order to run a successful dropshipping store. This is simply not the case. The name of the game when it comes to Facebook advertising is testing. At Zendrop, we have a very extensive resource called Zendrop Academy, which takes you through six different types of testing methods to use on Facebook advertising. Everyone has to start somewhere, so you might as well start testing your products in real time while you are learning about Facebook advertising. Of course, Facebook advertising is an incredibly lucrative way to get the word out on the products that you are selling on your online store. But it is not the only way. There are many other effective means of online marketing for your dropshipping store. 
One of which being Pinterest, as it acts as a really great medium between social media and online shopping. So if your budget is a little bit tighter when it comes to Facebook advertising, I would definitely recommend utilizing a portion of that budget to test different Facebook ads. In Zendrop Academy, we go into major detail on different testing methods and how to keep it affordable over time. Not only that, start exploring these other online outlets that are completely free. These include email marketing, social media marketing, and also influencer marketing. So be sure to check out our other videos about these types of online marketing for your dropshipping store. So do you need to be an expert at Facebook ads in order to run a successful dropshipping store? I think we can call this myth debunked. A really common assumption pretty much everyone hears about dropshipping is the long shipping times. Sometimes I've heard the assumption that dropshipping stores can take up to a month to send their products to their online customers. Now, if you're using a pretty shady supplier, this might be the case. But with Zendrop, our average shipping times from overseas are 10 to 14 days to your customers anywhere in the world. And as I said earlier, the more transparent you are with your customers as to why your products are coming from overseas, the more likely they will not have any issues with the 10 to 14 day shipping times. Not only that, Zendrop does fulfill products from the United States as well. And these shipping times are anywhere between two and five days. I can 100% confirm that there are some suppliers out there with shipping times of over one month. But at Zendrop, that just does not work for us. So we pride ourselves in our 10 to 14 day shipping times anywhere in the world from our overseas suppliers. I can't debunk this myth for every online supplier, but I can debunk this myth for Zendrop. Another assumption we hear a lot is that drop shipping is dead in the water and that it is no longer a profitable business model. But let me break down some statistics for you really quickly. On average, individuals who sell products online but do not hold their own stock earn an average of 50% more profit than those who have to hold their own stock in-house. The reason why dropshippers earn more profit is you are not dealing with the day-to-day -day of running a stock room and or warehouse. Your suppliers and your fulfillment company, aka Zendrop, take care of that for you. Not only that, dropshipping is still a rapidly growing industry. In fact, more than half of the online stores on the internet right now practice the drop shipping model rather than holding their own stock. There is literally no end in sight for the rapid growth that drop shipping is experiencing right now amongst online sellers. So if you're wary of starting your first drop shipping store because you think the industry is too saturated, your time is now. It is still growing every single day with new stores popping up and becoming successful every single day. I think it's safe to say we've also debunked this myth. That's all the assumptions I have for you today. But I know that there are so many other assumptions about the dropshipping industry circling around the internet. So if you think I missed a very important assumption, comment below and I'll definitely take my time to answer each and every one of them. But do not let other individuals' opinions and assumptions about the dropshipping industry keep you from creating a dropshipping store and transforming your career into something incredibly successful. For those of you who did not take these assumptions into account when starting your first dropshipping store, let me know about your success stories. I want to hear how you have used the dropshipping model to create the career of your dreams, quit your nine to five and have financial and professional freedom. I'm Kennedy from Zendrop and I'll see you next time.